Revenues are up, but costs are up. The latest from podnews.net with Libsyn. Stop dreaming, start podcasting. Danish premium podcast company Podimo released a financial report for 2022. Revenue tripled up to $33.7 million in the year, but the company's losses also tripled up to $49 million. Talking about the deficit, CEO Morten Strunger is quoted as saying, when we enter a new market, we must have a minimum catalogue of content from day one. After all, you can't just launch a subscription service with one podcast. Meanwhile, UK-based podcast company Audioboom released financials for the first half of 2023. Quarter 2 revenue is up 6.5% on quarter 1 revenue, but the company made a loss. One unnamed individual partner contract lost $1.8 million in the first half of the year and will cost the company $8.9 million in total. Wonder who that's with? Spanish-language podcast platform Ivux has released an annual report into the state of podcasting in Spanish. A third of all Spanish podcasters started their shows in the last year. Over a quarter of shows include video, and almost 20% are earning revenue from their podcasts. After seeing the number of daily host-red ads increase almost five times last year on their platform, Red Circle launches Teams for Advertisers today, a tool to help agencies and advertisers add team members to build and send campaigns and monitor their results. Congratulations to Lauren Purcell, who celebrates four years of running Tink Media this week. What are the top 10 podcasts among women in the US? No, the number one isn't Joe Rogan either. Edison Research looks at the last six months of Edison podcast metrics to show us. We link to that today from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Aligning with the Canadian launch of podcasts in the YouTube music app, CBC Podcasts has launched a channel on YouTube. CBC already has more than 8 million subscribers on the platform. Amplify Media and Coleman Research will release new research into podcasting on YouTube at Podcast Movement 2023 in Denver this August. Sounder and Podroll have announced a strategic partnership. AdvertiseCast has signed a new exclusive ad partnership with Big IP Media. iHeart has signed a strategic strategic partnership with LinkedIn, and in France, Audion has signed Engel and Slate France to use Audion 360, the company's podcast distribution and monetization tool. In March 2022, Spotify announced an editorial podcast submission form to promote your show for US podcasters. The link, though, has changed, and we've linked to the new one in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. We've also updated our big list of podcast directories with that link. There's a new podcast app for Android users called Turtlecast. It calls itself a minimalist podcast player with a unique design. It comes with a Wear OS app, checks RSS feeds directly, and the marketing material seems to use lots of pod news podcasts too. June's New Zealand podcast ranker was released by Triton Digital. Two radio shows are the most listened to podcasts. And today, the US podcast ranker for June is released at 9 a.m. Eastern. And Magellan AI releases its June podcast advertising spend update at 11.30 a.m. And in podcast news, the new FIFA Women's World Cup is less than a week away and popular UK women's football podcast Upfront is making their show at the competition in Australia and New Zealand. Here's what else you need to know today. The Daily Football Briefing is new from The Athletic, just 10 minutes long. It is, and I quote, the first athletic podcast designed specifically for a post-pandemic audience that commutes less and demands more. Hmm. The show is updated overnight, UK time. New from Wondery and At Will Media today, Academy is a young adult audio fiction drama telling the story of an elite boarding school with a powerful secret society. And if you miss Reply All's PJ Vote, then he's back with a very familiar sound. Search Engine answers the kind of questions you might ask the internet when you can't sleep. The first last week was whether airline coffee is safe to drink. The second this week talks about how to find new music when you're old and irrelevant. I feel seen. This podcast is sponsored by Libsyn. Are you ready to tell your story? Libsyn has an all-in-one, fast, easy podcast tool that allows you to plan, record and create your podcast 
today. Stop dreaming, start podcasting with Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net.